Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Monday, February 14th, 2022. That's a lot of twos, I know. I'm the Drunk Poker Group Test Beer Time. Happy Valentine's Day if you celebrate. I don't, that's silly, but anyways, I hope you're having a nice day. We're going to talk about love. Well, we're going to talk about love and the things we do. Um, so, I don't know how many of you pay attention to the Instagrams here. Maybe you do. I don't know. I don't know how deep you are into the craft beer world. Let me try and help you out here a little bit. Last year, um, a woman in the States, Brienne, goes by Rat Magnet on uh, Instagram. She started collecting stories of discrimination and sexual assault and all kinds of terrible things that have happened to women in beer. It exploded. Um, right now, Aaron Broadfoot of uh, Little Beasts is doing the same, collecting these stories and sharing them and calling into account the people who commit these acts. Um, these women and people color, LGBTQ TQ, uh, community. So what came out of that whole thing with Brienne was Brave Noise. And Brave Noise is a collab beer. And it's done, there has to be one thing, there has to be 100% of the proceeds going to a charity, I believe. Uh, the charity here is uh, the Savis of Halton, which is sexual assault and violence, uh, helps women who've been through that. Um, and the other thing is you have to put a code of conduct. So this is the Nickelbrook version done with beer, diversity, my friend Ryan. So, you can scan for the code of conduct. The one thing that I think that we need to remember with things like this is that this does not absolve a brewery. Just because you brew a beer or brave noise and that, this is a great thing to do because it does put good money in it and it raises the questions. Now you're held accountable because you have said, this is these are our core values. We, you can scan the code there and go read their, their code of conduct. So, the thing here, and we talk about this in beer, and as, as a, I'm a white dude, I'm a fat white dude, I'm, I walk into a tap and everybody looks like me. So it's very easy. And I don't never experience these things. And I always say the same thing, believe women. And people say, well, what's your personal career? Like, don't, don't, don't be a jerk. Don't be an arse. But you have to be more than that, guys. We have to start calling out our friends when they do things that are shitty. That's that's it. That's we gotta you gotta be if you're gonna if you're gonna let that go, then you're you're not part of the solution. So applause to them for brewing this beer. I hope that they they live with this. There are three do good, drink good, be good beers this week from Nickelbrook. We're going to talk about this is the first one. Um, I've, I've been sort of holding off because I, I don't know what to say. And I'm just trying to uh, promote other people's um, because that's my job now is to, to if you're going to do, you know, be an ally, that's great. And stand up with people. Yes. But you have to also lift people up and use your voice there to do that. But, you know, again, that's nice to see. It's a lot of words. I get it. Maybe, maybe it's not your thing. And that's, hey. We're going to make, fix this, our world, make it better, and you can just come along. So that's what's going to happen. Cheers, my friends. Be good, do good, drink good, but also you got to take a stand. Cheers. It's a nice, simple pale ale. A little bit of orange citrusy up front, grapefruit pith, nice, smooth body, crushable, very, very much a beer you can enjoy with friends. The word that I just, it's accountability. So we want to hold the businesses we support accountable for their behavior and the behavior they allow. We need to hold ourselves accountable for our behavior and the things we allow. And we need to hold the people around us accountable because it starts with that. It starts with, it's not just the good old boys. It's not just... Oh, you know, just boys will be boys. No, boys will be held accountable for their actions. Now, I'm not perfect. I've done I've done shitty things in my life on 100%. But I am trying to be a better person now because I think the world needs us to be better people. To make the world a better place and a safer place. That's what we're trying to do here. It says it here. Collaboration with a big goal. A safe and discrimination-free beer industry. It begins and ends with each person as they walk in that tap room. It begins and ends with each person when they have interactions with the staff, when they work in a business, every business. I, in my business, where I work, where I run a business, we work strive to make that business safe for everybody to come in and, and work and, and dine. And it's important. I don't know. I go on. I, I, it, everything's easy for me, right? This is, I'm a dude and beer. So my job is to make things better for other people, to make things safer, and to make sure that the stories get told and consequences. So the code of conduct is there. We hold you to account on that nickel broker. I'm glad to see it. I'm happy to see it. Let's keep moving forward. Deal with issues when they come up. Fix things. Cheers. Be safe. Be kind. Be aware all the time. Cheers. It's a good beer. 
Like, it's super crushable. And I like that because I can share it with my friend Ren one day. So, please. <laughs>